All right, time for a Hecarim game. Um. Okay. I have Nimbus Cloak, so I can just go Ember Snipe. And the, like the matchup here, Graze into Hecarim is actually pretty bad for me early game. If he gets the lead, it's even worse, of course. But yeah. Um, know that Draven and Alistar are going to play aggressive and Senna Ash are most likely going to get pushed in. So I'm actually going to go with a like counterish strategy against the Graves. Most Graves players will start on red buff and then they can from that point on maybe look to invade. Um, if he doesn't do that, he might start blue and then do blue Gromp red and then invade my blue. Something like that could happen. So I'm actually what I'm going to go for is I'm going to back at 50 seconds, place the ward here to see if he goes instant from red to blue. And then I'm just going to full clear on the bot side. Now, if I do full clear on the bot side, so I do my red crux, uh, my raptors here. If he has not been spotted on my ward, I will just continue towards top side. If he has been spotted on the ward by then, I can just turn this around real quick and go gank bot lane after level 3. So I'm going to then continue with all three of my abilities. Ghost into bot lane and try to kill Draven or Alistar, most likely Draven. Uh, because they will most likely push in anyway, so I could go look for a situation like that. The only problem I would be scared of right now is a late invade, and we didn't have cover for it, so that could really hurt me. If they do that, I'll be sad. It looks like he started probably topside. I'm not sure where he, bot lane hasn't showed yet. He, they might be cheesing. My bot lane walked safe, so it should be okay. Alright, he definitely leashed. So he started topside. He could then just opt to go for my blue. We'll see what happens. If he doesn't go for my blue here... I mean, I already told you guys. I have to keep an eye out on the map here, really. Right, Draven's actually kind of losing the trades. Interesting. Really gotta keep my eye out open here for that Graves. If he doesn't invade me, that'd be that'd be ideal for me to be honest. But wait, I just okay. I should have maybe still gone bot lane. Mm. I can't like. Uh, okay, he definitely cleared top side, so he's definitely like right there ish. Unless he is all my blue right now, that's the only other option. But I don't think he is. Alright, this situation now changes my pathing a little bit. I'm just gonna have to danger ping them more. And, oh, Graves is actually top lane. Strange. Very strange, actually. That's a weird play from Graves. That's really not smart. Because he just did his top three camps. And now I'm just going to get blue regardless. Can I even... Con No, he has to have back. There's no way. He needs. To, he had to have back there. Guy, like, why are you checking that? Genuinely, why are you checking that? My guy. Alright, I'm going mid lane. Oh my, like, flash ignite him, my dude, literally just, I, mm, okay. Unlucky on that one, the casting could have flash ignited that 100% and he would have just died. You might think, why don't I go top lane there? But the reason for that is the Graves should have realistically never, never, ever been there. In any world. That was the weirdest play from that Graves. Very weird. I'm just very sad that the Kassadin didn't commit for that. He could have, like, flash comboed the, the Galio whilst I knocked him back and he would have gotten the kill. Or we would have killed him for sure. So that's a bit unfortunate on that one. I win a heavily on clear against this Graves right now. But like, yeah, I, like I would have gone top lane if the gra if I like fully knew from the start that a Graves was gonna stay in that situation. It's just the weirdest, weirdest play from that Graves. Like that should never in any world work, because it costs way too much time for him to pull that off. Way too much time. So he lost a lot of that, like a lot of temp. I got a double scuttle against the Graves. This is, by the way, this is Diamond One Elo, Diamond Two ish. So just so you guys know, this is not like some. Bronze Graves making these types of plays. Yeah, I turn the base here. I'm gonna probably look for maybe a top gank here now. Get this, get 
that and a control ward and I could look towards ganking top lane here potentially. Yeah. I guess I, I should have gone top lane after everything. Like after all, like I was, just wasn't expecting him to be that. Um, I guess bad's the right word to stay for here for that long. Cause he did three camps and I got double scuttle and a full clear against him. All right, I'm just gonna walk up now. If he doesn't get killed right before I get there, that'd be great. Oh, uh, please. Okay, he got him. He got him. That's good. I'll help him push. At least tell me he got the thing. I don't really want to fight this. Just please don't stand there. That's actually the... Uh, he should have backed behind his turret. Now he can't back. Interesting. All right, I can full clear top down now. My camp should about respawn at the right time. All right, cast it and dies here. All right, never mind. He actually survived. He well, he had the flash for that, but mm. very still made the early game. Rise got a clean one if you want on that one on the end though, which is pretty good. Graves lost a lot in farm. I can go at top scuttle here probably and just be fine. I have level six. Graves can never be six at this point. There is no way this guy is 6 ever. That's a control ward. Rice shoot path here. I have ult. All right, I got him. That was a close one, but I got him. Uh, he's right, though, but... No, he's actually top lane. Wow. This guy keeps baffling me more and more. Interesting. Uh, now, at this point, Rai should have already backed. He's now kind of just straight inting. Now, I should have cleared the wave, because this is actually really, really, really bad from him. He needs to start one-shotting the wave and then backing. He lost a lot of time by not um, by not going for that insta-back. He should have, like, yeah. If he insta-backed, he would have gotten the wave about now and he would have been full HP in that situation specifically. All right, I'm going to do these three camps. So I'm going to do... Uh, actually, do I? I could go for a bot gank here soon. Mm, Graves is weird, pa weird pathing. I'm not too sure what, he, what he's doing exactly. I'm just gonna do this, go to topside, maybe kill Set again. I also need to look towards killing Draven because he hasn't died yet, so he must have had, like, he must have, like, a bunch of stacks. I could probably just go for that, to be honest. I'm just gonna go bot lane here and run for it. Please don't get killed before I get there. I'm gonna ghost right now. I'm gonna walk in with E. He dies here. Please move, Cassidy. I swear to God. Oh, but you just don't move. Like, what the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ. I don't have ult either. Nice. At least that guy... Cassidy, I... Please. Just please move. Really? God damn it. Cassidy, like, he should have collapsed that, that uh, Alistar a lot faster there. Like, I a lot. Can you, Rift Arrow, please just get off me? Get off me, dude. What is this shit? Thank you. Okay, damn. It's a little unfortunate. I wanted to go for the Draven first to ensure he didn't get anything, but then Alistar flashed out over the uh, escape. I didn't have ult, sadly, so I couldn't... Like, if I had ult, the Galio and the Alistar would have died completely, so... But it's still okay. I mean, the gank worked out. I basically forced the enemy team to dive that in a disadvantaged position, so that's pretty good. This guy is not banging any control wards on top lane, which is a bit unfortunate to see. I guess I'll just walk up. Let's 
Let's see if he warded. He has no vision. I mean, surely he dies, right? Okay, good. That's all I want. Galio's top lane. Um, he might die. He needs to move. He actually needs to start moving here. He is... I mean, he just stalled for a very long time. So he actually lost a lot of distance on it. Okay, now, now this is just like... I don't know why he ran into that full on. That is, that is extremely weird. I mean, there's no way that works, right? This guy should die here. It's a good rise TP right there. I have no smite. I probably shouldn't have smited the uh, the dude there, but that's a good rise TP. That's why they assist pinged for, and he did it. That's very very nice. Uh, honestly, Cassidy should go top here probably because Rise is not gonna make it. Cassidy should have gone top there. Didn't do it. Okay. I mean, Rise will like he Cassidy could have been in the lane by now. Rise is gonna be very late. If Rise could have then covered the mid lane like one time, that would have been perfect. But we don't lose like we win off that still. This Kassadin is just playing extremely, extremely defensive, like most Kassadin players do. It's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go do Scuttle. Graves is most likely, like, here, doing Rift Herald. I got a base. Kassadin walked down where he should have walked up to check Rift Herald. So, that's a bit unfortunate there. Should be a f okay. Yep, there he is. That's the Rift, like, this This Rift Herald Kassadin should have been able to prevent. Like, honestly, 100% should have been able to prevent this. Uh, I think he's gonna use the top lane here, so I'm probably just gonna run there. He's not using a top lane, interestingly enough. I gave like I gave Rise a good lead off of a couple ganks, which is nice. I have my mythic now, which is also good. Need to keep, just make sure that I keep farming right now. I can go in old bot lane in a second here. Okay, Graves is top lane. I'm gonna actually go in top lane right now. Stall. Oh, uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to stall that long enough. I don't think. Actually, with face rush, maybe. They don't dive him here, right? That'd be weird. All right, I'm just gonna ghost. I didn't get it. I get, didn't get the interrupt on that one, unfortunately, though. I don't have smite. Hmm. I like. I wasn't gonna get to the set regardless, so this is fine. I'm just gonna push top wave. I can get like maybe like, actually the third place already gone, unfortunately. Damn. Cassidy did move on this one, but, I mean, again, he's just a little late on things. And by no means am I, like, flaming anybody here, right? I'm just telling you that, uh, what things that, like, would be good and all that type of stuff. Just, yeah. Alright, get top turret here, that's good. Now I can just back and go to my bot side. I have ult up, I don't have ghost, but... Against that team, I am going for... I'm definitely going for Steel Caps here. Uh, Alright, and then from here on... I'll just get another Longsword. Hmm, he's taking my camps. I mean, I guess it's okay, but... As, as long as he doesn't do that too often, that'd be great. I'm going Black Lever now, by the way. Just for extra armor pen and everything. And after that, I'll go like Death's Dance, Sterex, um, Stone Blade build, that type of deal. That is just fine. I'm 
mean, surely you just dead, yeah. Oh, look, Cassidy moved, nice. Alright, I'm just gonna go for red now. Rice should be just be completely fine in top lane against that set. There's no way he should lose. I need to hit level 11 here soon. I'm getting a little bit behind on experience right now. I'm not farming amazingly. Yeah. Uh, Drake's in 45, so I need to hit 11. If this camp wasn't down, I'd hit 11 off it. So I'm just a little bit sad that Rice cleared that. I'm just kind of spamping it. Because people in this elo definitely need some spam pings to be able to follow stuff. I um, need to go run bolt here towards bolt side. This guy should win the 1v1 against Cassett fairly easily, I would imagine. Yep, there he goes. I have ult ready. This is where I run bolt lane and go for the uh, graves. Ideally... Okay, Cassidy kind of... Wait, where, where the hell did... Oh, okay. I'm dead here. I'm 100% dead here. Ah, uh, my bot lane was a bit late on that. That's just super unfortunate. They didn't walk up. Ash ulted. I... In my mind, I really should have killed that Draven. 100% he should have been dead. But I just didn't consider Duskblade at all. That's my problem there. I, I completely never... It didn't even cross my mind. I just like... He just disappeared on the map and I was just straight up confused. And that's like my bad completely. Because I should have one-shot the Draven there. That's that's 100% my fault, and yeah, nothing else to say about that play. Like, I really just messed it up. I didn't expect the Dustblade invisibility. I didn't consider it. Not, 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 nothing there. Oh, he's dead here. Ugh, damn. I'm actually kind of sad that my uh, bot lane didn't follow that in time. Like, they had they had a position... Like, they she hit an arrow, sure, and I should have killed the Draven, sure. But they, they were a little slow. Just a little bit slow on the uh, rotation on that one. You're joking me, right? Jesus Christ. Okay, that, that set just kind of saved that uh, Graves' life really, really hard. Damn. Uh, by the way, the way, like with Hecarim, you can kind of counteract set ult, or uh, set w, w, sorry, like that. You can E towards him. Whilst he does it, and then you can kind of bounce him back and walk past him. Which is what I did in that situation to avoid the damage from it. Mm. Actually a little surprising. I thought we should have gotten that, but I think I, I just think I overestimated the damage Cassidy would do. Either that or he messed up his combo, but I mean, I can't judge that really exactly. So it is what it is at that point. Oh my god. I couldn't get past him. I don't think he kills me here. I think Rai should get... Oh, he missed his Q though. That Q miss is unfortunate. He would have gotten the kill on Galio with that Q. But it is what it is. It still works out. Hmm. I'm not getting too much in this situation. They're actually... The enemy team is coming back now. Due to some uh, throwy behavior. Okay, Rai's just like really through. I'm just gonna go for the Alistar here. But you're just joking. Oh, Set TP'd. I thought, where is my team going? But if Set TP's, then that is what it is. No! Oh my god, he healed. Oh my god. Where did Cassidy even die to? Alistar lived through that, really. Okay, he couldn't get that auto attack off. Christ, this game is difficult.
And it's actually more difficult than it should have been. We had such a big lead and then now we don't. And yeah, team just keeps dying a little bit too much. I'm just going to continue here for Cleaver. Wait, don't want two. I just want one. Let's just go Cleaver like Sterex or something. Hmm. She has five and two. Is she actually... I'm not going to give her a red buff, by the way. She has Glacial. She just live with it. Oh, God. Oh, boy. It rises too far up again. He just keeps doing it. He literally keeps keeps doing it. Walking up, overextending, and then dying to Graves. This Graves is actually coming back into the game from the most terribly played early game from him. By being falling so far behind by my rise just... Like, griefing a little bit too hard here. I missed, missed position that. At least I got the Graves. I missed position my ult so I didn't fear him back properly. I need, to, I actually think I have to tell him at this point, like how, like for how often he's doing it. Uh, against that team, I'm going Death Dance actually. They are mostly physical. Like, they have a Galio, sure, but the rest is basically physical. So if I go Death Dance for armor, that should be fine. We're just losing really hard because Ryze overextends too much. And he's actually quite a big part of, like, our, like, lead and damage. Like, he does a lot of damage. And if he keeps dying by, like, running too far into mid lane, which is, I think, the third time he did it so far. Which is actually becoming a little bit of an issue. Kassadin mm, just dies. Ash wasted her ult. Man. Really hard. Really hard game. It, it really shouldn't have been, but it's actually going in the direction of just being way too hard of a game. And I guess I smite this. I'm never gonna get the dragon realistically, so... Nope, 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 nope. Can't really fight this. Wait, they're, they're still not doing dragon and Rise is top lane. We need Rise to come down. He's actually like... Uh, he, he's just splitting. Like, we could win a dragon fight with that Rise. So he's now greeting for his item. Okay, well, I guess I'll just move away from this and give Drake. I actually generally think we could have fought a dragon there still, even though Kassadin died. I mean, no matter what, right? Ka oh, Kassadin just got a shutdown. That's pretty good. Okay, hopefully he dies. I don't know. He's 1 HP. He doesn't die to burn damage. That's unfortunate. I thought I could get that. I kind of knocked the Galio out of Ryze's Q combo there, which was a little bit of my mistake. But then he flashed out and he barely lived. I genuinely think if he 5v5, we should just be able to win straight up. Okay, Ryze died again somehow. I just kind of keep building into Death's Dance. I'm just gonna get another longsword for this. Looks like I'm okay. Well, casting and die to Graves. They're really giving Graves a lot of free kills. Like genuinely, it's actually kind of um, infuriating. Like for how hard I outplayed him and how many kills my team's giving him, it's actually really, really annoying. I think I lose this one v one. Actually, he just used his W extremely early. Yep, he used his W way too early there. It's actually not too bad for me then. Uh, the Grave is now 9 and 2 with a, uh, like, CS lead on me and everything because of, like, how much he got. It could be Baroning, potentially. I'm dead here. Actually, not dead here. I had the Ghost though. Ash has no ult. I got that guy. I can walk away from this situation, or I should be able to at least. 
Rice should be able to follow this up and we should just be able to win that fight. I need to be very careful though, because if I walk into anything here, I'm just dead, right? So I need to be very careful of that. Set just TP'd bot lane. I think Kassadin is expecting to get a blue buff at this point. Yep. I guess I'll give it to him, but he needs to step up his game by a lot in order for that to be worth it for me. I'm not gonna let him get it. Alright, he dies there. I really need this team to 5v5. We actually just genuinely need to 5v5 a team fight right now. We need 5v5 badly. Uh, there he just solo died on the side again. Like, man, Graves is getting a lot of free shit. Just group. I mean, I, uh, there's honestly no other way to put that. I'm gonna do this. And they should have probably let him head flesh out. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Like, really, really all we need. Like, literally all we need is this for just one group team fight and where the team doesn't completely split and die. Which is what has been happening the entire time. But I'm pretty sure Cassidy just wants to, wants to farm for 16. Wait, he just ran. Why did you run? What? I'm sorry, but like... I was... Okay, well, I was literally on my way and he ran. Just don't Baron. The, the Graves would have definitely hard committed to the Rise there. And Rise just ran from a situation where he shouldn't have ran. He should have just snared the Graves. And probably would have just one-shot him, to be honest. I have to go bot lane, don't I? Because my team just isn't doing it. It is actually genuinely hard to deal with this, because this Cassidy really has no idea what he's doing, clearly, because he just keeps splitting, not rotating, not doing anything, and we're literally just losing inhibitors, losing dragons, losing objectives, they keep solo dying to graves, so everything here is just bad. He, he dies here again, what's this? It... <laughs> This is seven, like, this so often. I honestly have no words for this. I, I don't know. I just don't know. This is Diamond 1, and I just have no idea what the hell's happening here. Yep, it doesn't happen this way. Graves is definitely doing Baron, by the way. He's 100% doing Baron. I already know it. He's, he's literally doing Baron Ash, please. Please, 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 please. Please. Please just... Oh, God. Am, am I going to make that? I'm going to pop Ghost here. This is unbelievable. I guess I should have gone for the Graves there. He dies, right? Okay, good. I should be able to run from this. What the hell was that, Kassadin? Jesus Christ, my dude. Holy shit. Like, we prevented the Baron. I knew he was doing it, because he tried to solo it earlier. But, oh my god. We won the fight, and Cassidy ran back into a uh, die to set. Uh, it's just... Uh, okay. I mean... It is what it is, you know. What? Uh, if he, I'm not sure if he's now confused by not having a shutdown, like, or... I... 
or him being in 12 and 3 because whatever it's all good casting in 16 now boys right game winning situation i hope uh, I have presence of mind, so I'm actually gonna give blue to cast it in or rice. Rice should take it. That's good. We can do it, but I'm still scared because Graves outlevels me. But please go over the wall. I can't afford this, boys. He's gonna. Oh my dear God! I'm glad he's he's just be... okay. I shouldn't have eat there. Oh my God! I'm dead to collector. Please just win the team fight. Ash with their ultimate. Oh god. Okay, thank you. Thank you, team. Hmm, Jesus. I outsmited him, which is good. I was really close. He did he smited too early. But I died to his collector, unfortunately. Uh I was worth a thousand gold, so Graves got an extra thousand gold out of that. Which definitely isn't too ideal, but it's the only way that game could have or that situation could have gone. No one on our team decided to go for like the Graves over the wall type of play or anything. I guess we got caught off a little bit on the other side of the fight. But, I mean, yeah, it's fine. We won the fight, so I'll absolutely take it. Uh, I got actually got third gold for Guardian Angel, nice. That is perfect, I'm gonna take red here. Right, Senna is going to start to do some damage now. Cassidy hit 16, so he's actually in a good damage spot as well. Um, yeah. Slowly but surely dragging this, like, dragging this game to a victory, I suppose. Do I give this to Senna? I guess I'll give it to Senna, why not? She is doing okay enough for that to be fine. I have to ult out of that situation. I, I, that, that dude caught me out of, off guard, really hard. Please don't get killed, just, just heal. Nice, Kassadin is doing work now. I got this guy. I still have Ghost going for a very long time, so I can just chase with that. Cast it in doing cast it in things. We can just end the game now. Uh, very, very rough game, to be honest. A lot of sloppy mistakes been made, but... Just goes to show you that consistency is the key for most things. I want to re-emphasize again, uh, re again uh, I like was just saying their mistakes, never in any attention did I want to flame them. That was never my intention, never wanted to go for that at all. Just so you guys uh, don't misunderstand me here. I just want to explain the game situation as much as I can. Alright, we go Drake here. I'm gonna go Drake here. I'm finishing Drake here. My team won the other side of the fight, so it's actually good. Like, no matter how bad the early game is played, right? If you have a casted on your team and he hits 16, like, no matter how many mistakes the guy makes, 16 casted in just wins. It just does. It straight up does. Right, this is a bit of a problem, actually. I can get out of this situation, but I can't fight him at all. Like, I literally can't fight that guy right there, so it's not worth trying. We got double and hip, we got the dragon. We got a big, like, uh, switch out of that play, which is very good. Very good, that's all I want. Just take a stop side here, and that should be fine. Never over-aggress where you can't do it. 
Like, I have to respect the fact that Graves actually got a bunch of kills. And he's actually full build right now, six items. Like, I, I can't disrespect that whatsoever. It's just not realistic. Alright, I don't need magic resist because the only one is Galio. What would be a good item in this situation? I'm actually not too sure. I think armor is just fine. So I guess I go stone plate. I'll, I'll wait. Wait, 30, G or 30 gold. Whatever. I'm just going to wait this gold. I'm After that, I'm going to go back on the map. I'm going to go uh, stone plate here. It's kind of a, a like both type of situation, but the extra shield will actually benefit me quite a bit. So I'm just going to go for this. We could have probably ended the game there, yeah, if we just stayed mid lane with the entire play, but... We have the all-in fast or stop set. Like, it's one of the two. We can't let set split push because he can just end the game. I don't think he will. I don't think he will make a play like that because that'd just be very throwy. Because I think we can still probably end faster. But if they can stall this out... Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I had to ult for that, but that's fine. This is not a big deal. Just gonna have to run top here. I need to be mindful for where Graves is. Played as slow as possible, these fights. Oh, Senna just ran up. What, like, he greeted super hard for the kill there. Alright, that's perfect. That's my ult back. We can end the game now. I'm trying to heal a little bit of the minions here, wherever I can. It's a pretty hard-fought game, not gonna lie. It's a lot of mistakes, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something from it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button below. This does help me quite a bit. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!